first way is determining is there a perfect square that's a factor of that number. I'll break it down in its two factors. A property of radical says I can break it up into two separate square roots. That one's a perfect square, so it's 5 squared of 3. The other method, okay, to simplifying these is you can factor it all the way or do the prime factorization. You guys remember factor trees like in grade school? Okay. That you can break it down. You can factor it all the way. So you can just pick two factors of 75. Well, 25 and 3 I know are two factors. I can't break down 3 anymore, but I can break 25 down into 5 and 5. I, these are all prime numbers now. I can't break them down any further. And then kind of the way you do this, so if you treat this radical like a jail, you break out of jail in pairs, and only one of you breaks out of jail and survives. So that means one of the 5 survived, and the 3 was left in jail. It's the same thing. Does that make sense? That's just a way to think about it if you want to do it that way. That... A pair of you breaks out of jail, one of them makes it, whoever didn't break out is left over, so five, one of the fives made it, three was left over. So that's a way to simplify. So let's do one or two more, and then I'll let you try a few others if you haven't finished them. So two ways you're looking at this problem, you can do it either way. Is there a perfect square that divides 80? Meaning 4, 16, 9, 36, 25. Is there a perfect square that divides 80? Or you can just factor it all the way and use the breaking out of jail method. Okay. Let's say for some reason we're having trouble thinking of the perfect square. It's divisible by 4. That could be 1. Let's say we're having trouble thinking of it. Okay. Let's just factor it. I know 10 and 8. I just picked 10 and 8 because I know that's an easy one. Okay. I can break 10 down into 5 and 2. I can break that down into 4 and 2. I can break that down into 2 and 2. And I can't break them down any further. Right? Okay. So I've got all prime numbers there. So remember, you break out of jail with a partner. Only one of you make it. So there's a pair and then I have, there's a pair. Again, remember I didn't choose four because I broke it down. I'm only looking at the end of the tree branches here. So how many twos are going to break out of jail then? Two. Just two twos are going to break out, right? Because only one of them come out. So that means I have two twos on the outside and what's left over on the inside? Five. That five, right? So, and then when the two twos break out, how did you get two twos? Uh, one of these twos and one of those pair of twos, what you know. That? That four I broke down. I'm only looking at the end of the tree branches here, or the end of the branches. Here. And that simplifies to four square root of five. Okay. Because two, two of the twos broke out and I multiply them together on the outside. The other way you could have looked at it is you could have just said, well, 80 is 16 times five, right? This is the same thing as square root of 16 times square root of five, and the square root of 16 is four. So the simplified radical is 4 times the square root of 5. Okay. So that's what you're doing on these problems. That's how we simplify square roots.